UBC engineering students are all hands on deck prepping this autonomous sailboat for a voyage across the Pacific Ocean. She is the sailbot known as Ray, standing 20 feet tall, bearing two sails that will help them course through more than 2,300 kilometers of ocean water, departing from Victoria to Maui, Hawaii, with no captain aboard nor navigators guiding her from afar. The sailbot was designed entirely by students and took six years to build. We really want to push the limits of engineering and push the limits of the marine industry, right? So autonomous technology is super in right now. But the UBC sailbot team had a turbulent history with Ray's predecessor, Ada, which they launched in 2016 from Newfoundland en route to Ireland. Ada made it 800 kilometers before a severe weather storm hit, and she drifted off course a third of the way in. She wasn't spotted again until after a year and a half off the coast of Florida. Ray is roughly the same length as Ada, but is slightly wider, which will give her more stability to weather the Pacific Ocean currents and hopefully arrive in Maui in one piece. The team says they still consider Ada a success because of the many lessons they've learned since. Everything that we're doing for Ray and for a subsequent project is built off of that first step. Having kind of unfinished business with a full ocean crossing is a real driving force behind Ray. It's really testing our design and testing how well we were able to build a robot system. So if she ends up in Japan, she ends up in Japan. But students who also worked on Ada are rooting for Ray to make it. I want to see the headline that Ray has made it to Hawaii. I think that would be a testament to the ingenuity of the students. And when Ray embarks, they'll also take to heart a bittersweet sign of encouragement from her namesake, naval engineer and innovator Ray Montagu. We sent her a letter and received a very nice response from her, and then possibly a few months later she actually passed away. It's nice that she, it can, uh, this project can live on with her blessing. The students plan to launch Ray before the end of the summer, hoping to turn the tide on shipwrecks past. Ali Patarga, CBC News, Vancouver.